Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So today I want to share with you some amazing video I got of a monarch caterpillar turning into a chrysalis. And then not only did it turn into a chrysalis, while it was forming into a chrysalis, another caterpillar came up on it and it started to fight with it from inside the chrysalis. So I think this is truly spectacular video. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna share a little information about that metamorphosis process of the monarch caterpillar to the monarch chrysalis with you along the way. Hope you enjoy the video. When a monarch caterpillar is ready to turn into a chrysalis, one of the first things it does is it finds a surface it can hang from and it forms a little silk layer to that surface, maybe about an inch square, and it hangs in the shape of a J from that silk pad it lays on its surface. It'll lay in that position for about a day. The caterpillar continues to hang in this J shape. If it gets startled, it may curl up a little bit, then it'll settle back into its J shape. And from this J shape is when it starts that process of turning from a caterpillar into a chrysalis. A caterpillar sheds its skin several times while it's growing, and the very last shedding is right before it finalizes its chrysalis. You can see here it is shaking out of its skin for the very last time, and it's wiggling as it's created this jade green outside shell. The shell is fairly soft at this point, and over the next 24 hours, it will become a harder exterior surface. You could see there was that skin. It just shed, and it dropped to the bottom of this terrarium. You can see here in this terrarium, I have another caterpillar in the terrarium. It's been eating milkweed and growing, and now it's looking for a place to go hang and turn into its own J shape. Although along the way it runs across this chrysalis. And look at the chrysalis. Isn't this amazing? It appears to be protecting itself and trying to wiggle its way away from any threats. But the caterpillar keeps bugging them. And their chrysalis keeps responding. I'm going to just let you watch this video for the next minute or so here. The caterpillar just continues to bother this chrysalis and it's amazing how the chrysalis even inside that outer shell continues to move and wiggle and try to uh, protect itself. You can see the antennas of the caterpillar reaching out and his legs trying to figure out where he's going, but like a young sibling always bugging their brothers or sister, this caterpillar continues to seem to bother this chrysalis. One more time. So this was amazing for me to see how active a caterpillar is inside the chrysalis. And even as the threat of this caterpillar moves on and it kind of heads to the other side of the terrarium, there's still activity going on inside that chrysalis. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fight between the caterpillar and the chrysalis and Dang, that chrysalis was still active even inside its shell. So that's all I got today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great day.